up everybody, JC here. Not the JC you're used to seeing on this channel, um, but JC here with The Bridge TV, and we're back with a little video for you guys. First and foremost, I wanna thank JC from Urban Necessities, 2J's Kicks, um, for the opportunity to be featured on his channel. I'm gonna show a little bit, a little piece of my collection. A little background about me, I am a junior in college. I play quarterback at Colorado State University. Uh, I've been living here for the last three years. I'm originally from Fresno, California. Um, and I have just recently started collecting sneakers in about January 2017. So it's September now. So about eight and a half, almost nine months, I've been collecting sneakers and just recently been doing clothing. So I'm going to show you the best Hypebeast collection ever accumulated within the first four to six months of collecting. For starters, we're going to start with the Yeezy 350 V2 in the cream white. This is the only Yeezy that I was ever able to purchase for retail on release day. Everything else I had to pay resale for. So first off, Yeezy 350 V2 in the cream white. Second off, we got the Yeezy 350 V2 in the bread colorway. I did recently get these. Um, they are a size 13, so they fit me a kind of tight. My, my cream whites are a size 14. They fit me a little bit better, um, but super, super excited. And I was super happy to have these and add these to my collection. Um, as you can tell, I've already worn them a lot more than I've worn my creams. Um, so super, super excited to add this to my collection because this is probably my favorite V2. It's just easy to rock with anything um, and super dope in this bread colorway. Next up, we got the Yeezy Calabasas. This is the restock pair. When I first got this, I thought I got a steal. I paid 20 bucks, 100 bucks for an a cart service. Got these on the restock date. Thought I was going to be able to flip them for a quick four, five, six hundred dollars. Um, and then next thing you know, resale dies down to like 150 um, the next day. Um, so I still have these in my collection. Uh, people do say they are a lot better on foot. Just looking at them, not a huge fan. The leather is ridiculous on this, super, super plush, but not a big fan of the shoe. Um, so I'm just going to sit on this and hopefully one day I'll be able to flip it. Um, but Yeezy Calabasas. This was the first high beast pickup and probably the most expensive to date. Um, got these back in June, dead stock off of GOAT, and they have, are still DS. Um, probably the best sneaker in my collection, in my opinion. Right here we have the black Pharrell NMD Human Race. I just love this all black shoe with the yellow laces. The yellow laces just really makes it pop. My favorite shoe in my collection, the Pharrell NMD Human Race. I've never seen any other OVO Jordan in person. Um, but just looking in pictures and on foot, um, this is probably my favorite OVO. Right here we have the black OVO 10. A super, super cool shoe. Um, I have not yet worn these yet, but I got these for a pretty great price. Um, so probably a sneaker I'll keep on for a while. I love the smoke sole, how you can kind of subtly see the OVO on the bottom, owl on the insole. Just a really, really dope shoe. Like I said, I haven't seen the 12s in person. Um, I've had a pair of the, the white pair of the 10s. I haven't seen those 8s in person. I don't even know if those have released yet. But my favorite pair of OVOs. And Drake's one of my favorite rappers. Um, so probably a shoe I'm going to keep in my collection for a long time. Um, hopefully going to get the opportunity to undes these soon. So the OVO 10 black pair. Now these next four pairs aren't really super, super hype beasts. They're more for like the OG sneakerheads. But they are definitely four of the best sneakers in my collection in my opinion. Um, my favorite silhouette of Jordan, right here we have the Jordan 11. Um, so we have the Bread, the 09 Space Jam, we have the Gamma Blues, and we have the Concords. Um, like I said, Jordan 11s are my favorite pair of Jordans. I just love them, they're iconic. Um, I, have, I have worn these two, have not yet got to wearing these two, um, but we'll get to that pretty soon. Uh, just some shoes that will never leave my collection. Um, they're like, like I said, super iconic. My most expensive Jordans, all four of these. Jordan 11s. Um, I mean, not much else to say. I've always wanted to collect shoes. It's always been a dream of mine. But in high school, never really had the money. First couple years of college, never really had the money. Now that I'm starting to accumulate money, I'm able to do these things for me. Um, so now we're going to move on to the clothing and accessories. These are very, very recent pickups. Um, have not been doing clothing or accessories at all. For long at all honestly ever since i've been doing youtube which has not been long a couple months um so i have two clothing pickups and an accessory a bag pickup that i have to show you guys the first clothing pickup of the two nothing too much on either of these but we have the jaws bathing ape um tee i got it in the black colorway i recently picked this up off of grailed um obviously both of these pickups that i'm showing you i had to pay resale for 
because they are from later releases. I believe this released in July of 2016, and the next uh, pickup I'm gonna show you released in April of this year, I believe. Um, so right here, we got the Jaws Bape T. The next pickup, a little bit on the pricier side, but I'm very, very fortunate to be able to own it. We have the Supreme CDG box logo. Um, I just did recently pick this up. Like I said, it came out in April 2017. I got this August 2017. Um, this, along with everything else, has their own individual unboxing or review on my channel. Um, so if you're interested in that, go check my channel out. I also pick up things on the daily, so I'm always doing unboxings, reviews, stuff like that. Whoops, and I almost forgot one more thing, um, one more pickup. This is the accessory side of it. I got this Gucci Techno Canvas backpack. Um, I have worn it a couple times. I do do a lot of traveling to the airport and stuff like that, so that's usually when I bust it out, not really for class or anything like that. Um, but a super, super dope pickup. I think it's kind of futuristic, kind of sporty, um, super slim. I love it. Um, I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. Um, so this Gucci Techno Canvas backpack. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, thank you, JC, um, 2J's Kicks, for giving me the opportunity to feature on your channel. It really, really does mean a lot being a small YouTuber trying to reach bigger and better things. Um, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, the link to my just the link to my channel, sorry, will be in the description down below. Um, and go check me out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.